Hello, everybody. I just thought I would go over some Regents questions that go along with mitosis meiosis, like how we normally do in the picture packet, where you pay attention. I'll go through the questions and kind of process them with you. So I just put them on. I just put the picture packet up Friday morning. So hit classwork. Um, right here, mitosis meiosis picture packet. We'll just do one page together because the other pages, like these are in Castle Learning and you have two assignments in there with these. So that Castle Learning, I think will be a better platform for you to actually do them in. So do you need to do this picture packet? No. Should you watch this quick little video and watch me process through these? Yes, of course. It's like we normally would be in class just reviewing. Okay, so number one, which structure would be found in a plant cell during mitotic cell division? Cell plate is the answer. Remember, plant cells do it differently. They make that line that we talked about, that up and down line, because they don't have centrioles. Number two, only one member of each pair of homologous chromosomes is normally found in a gamete. So a sex cell, why do I know this? Only one member of each of the homologous chromosomes. So that means not 46X, but 23X. Remember, mitosis is regular body cells. It goes from 46X to 46X in the daughter cells. Meiosis goes from 46X to 23X because it has to half the chromosome number. Sperm and egg only have half. Sex cells only have half. So at fertilization, they come back together and make 46. Number three, in animals, the process which results in a monoploid gamete, mono, that's half the set of chromosomes, 23X, that would be meiosis. The little word sex, put over the E, half the chromosomes. Mitosis is when it's 46X to 46X. Number four. Compared to an animal that carries on internal fertilization, animals that carry on external fertilization reproduce in water. We talked about external like fish and frogs. They release numerous high numbers of sex cells because not all of them reproduce. You're outside. The current can carry it away. Other animals eat them. Number five, an earthworm is an example of a hermaphrodite because it, three, has functional male and female reproductive organs. Hermaphrodites have both gonads, both sex cells. Six, in human males, the maximum number of functional sperm cells that is normally produced from one primary sex cell is four. So one Primary sex cell makes four sperm. Remember, there's meiosis one and two. Girls are different. Remember, they make one egg in three polar bodies, and the egg gets all the nutrition from the other three. Number seven. Each strand of a double-stranded chromosome is known as chromatid. Remember the centromere is like the little button in the center that attaches them, but the strands are called chromatids. Number eight, which event occurs in the cytoplasmic division of plant cells, but not in the cytoplasmic division of animal cells? Look it over. Cell plate function. Remember it makes that cell plate to kind of split it. We just said that in another question. Nine, when a cell with 24 chromosomes divides by mitotic cell division, the resulting daughter cell will have a maximum chromosome number of, so it starts at 24, divides by mitosis, okay? The resulting daughter cell, it's going to be exactly the same, 24, 24. It's not meiosis. It's not having it. 10. Animals that have external fertilization are most likely to produce many eggs, right? They're in the water, lots of sex cells. 11, which is a form 
of vegetative reproduction. Remember the word propagate to reproduce? Used to propagate desirable varieties of plants quickly. So like seedless cucumbers, big red tomatoes, grafting. We went over that in the asexual for plants. That's where they caught the stem or the bud on one and add it to a plant on another. 12. What is one advantage of sexual reproduction over asexual reproduction? Now, this is a really good question. This will come up on the regions for sure. Sexual reproduction, you get a variety of genes, okay? So a greater variation among offspring because you have two sets of gene pools, a mom and a dad. Asexual, it's a clone. It's exactly the same. Okay, so like if we're in the classroom and all of you are bacteria and a virus comes and wipes out one bacteria and you all have the same genes, think of it. It would go, go through the whole classroom and wipe it out versus I could just use Corona. Not everyone's going to get wiped out. We, we have a variety. We have variation in us. Okay, 13. In humans, a single primary sex cell many pro may produce four gametes. These gametes are known as, what do we call? Not diploid, but monoploid or haploid. So number two, a monoploid egg cell. So we just went through like we would if we were in school and did some of the picture packet regions questions together. You do not have to do this. This is just for you to listen and try to soak in the information. But online before earlier this week, I posted the castle learnings. So you're going to need to do those two castle learnings. All right. Have a great rest of the day.